Hey everybody, Anthony here. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out another one of our videos. We're very excited about this one because for this video we have a very special guest live in our shop, Amy Lee from Go Groomer. You'll find a link to Amy's channel in the description, so be sure to go over there and show her lots of love. So in this video, Amy will be showing me how to use the Prima bathing system, a system that she swears by that I have never had the privilege of using. We had so much fun making this video, and a very special thanks to Amy, Alex, Big Gus, and Little Gus for making this video possible. Of course, don't forget to like if you enjoyed this video, and subscribe if you're new. All right, so Anthony, I, you do most of the bathing here, right? Yes, I do. Well, then you're the guy. I'm the guy. I got something for you to try. Let's do it. Let's see. Okay, so you've never used a Prima? No. Nope. Have you ever used any bathing system? Nope. You know, hand washing is an art in its own. Mm -hmm. And to do a good job and get a nice pristine coat, that's an art in its own. And I'm sure you've got that mastered. But hand washing takes time. Yes. So we're going to see if we can save you some time. I want to see how you feel about this. This yeah. is the Prima bathing system. I'm giving you an honest opinion. I want I'm that. Not, I'm not going to be lying here, you know, or anything. Well, that's like that. why I brought this to you because I know that you and Rudy are very honest, and I think our viewers are, are going to want to hear another professional opinion. I talk about the system all the time. Yeah, we know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So setting up is easy. Okay. This particular model is the Encore model. There are two models. Mm -hmm. One is called the Salon model, and one's called the Encore. You could use either one okay. in, in a shop setting. If you were a mobile groomer, you would want the Encore because it is more compact. It's space saving. So in this big shop, we wouldn't be concerned about that. However, both models perform the same. So just because you have a salon model doesn't mean um, it's going to outperform the the Encore. Gotcha. They perform the same. So um, you're going to get a good idea of how both systems work just by using this one. Cool. Okay. So the first thing we do is in our bucket here, it's empty currently, we are going to start adding our warm water. So we're going to set this up here and we're going to... Actually, we're only grooming one dog together today. So... I like to overdo him. Typically, this system will save you water. Obviously, if you're a mobile groomer, that's a good thing. It'll save you water. It'll save you use of products. So it'll save you money there. Um, one of the most valuable things is it saves you time and energy. Um, scrub it under the dog. You just point and go. Not working as hard, but producing a fantastic result. Mm -hmm. So I just buy these cheap little cups on Amazon. I fill this up with water to about here. The rest is filled up with shampoo. Today, another nice thing about this system, guys, you can use whatever your favorite shampoos are. You're not tied to specific shampoos. But your dilutable shampoos that are 16 to 1 or more, will perform best in this machine. So the one we're using today is Tropiclean. This is the Pure Plum. It is a 42 to 1. This is highly concentrated. So your higher concentrated shampoos are going to save you even more money in this Prima system. Okay, that's very important. And I love Tropiclean products, so this is a fantastic choice for us. So there you go. we're going with it. We're going to dump this in here. And obviously shampoo that is this concentrated is going to stick in our cup so I just simply get it all out of there right I don't want to waste I don't waste anything nothing so we're gonna get all that in there okay another big benefit to this is and if you're a mobile groomer or a home groomer where the energy of spraying and all that and having to do that is, is not you know it's a challenge. The nice thing about the Prima system is, is that you apply it to a dry coat. And that sounds silly. I'll tell you one of the benefits of that. I've been studying skin and coat care on my own in addition to just being a groomer. One of the benefits to applying uh, shampoo, a, a mixed water and shampoo mixture to the coat without pre-rinsing is that the first thing in contact with the dirt and the grime and the grease is the surfactants mm -hmm. in your shampoos 
instead of water being the first thing in, content with, in contact with the grease, it's a shampoo. So it can get right on there and start breaking it down, breaking down the grease and the grime and the coat. So that is one of the benefits. And you'll see that, Anthony, when we get to working. So we lock this guy down like so. We have, what do we have? We filled it up to almost five. I know we're probably not going to use that on Gus, but typically since this is your first time using it, you may overuse. So I want to make sure we have enough. Oh, I'm going to overuse it. And that's okay. It's okay. Yeah. But as you get used to it, you would learn, oh, I'm, I'm overdoing it. Right. I don't need to continue on like this, okay? So normally for big Gus, a big golden doodle, we would use probably, I'd fill it up to the three nope. for him. So then on the machine, we just come down here and we turn this from apply to mix. And there's a pump in there. And the pump, you can see it, the pump is pumping and circulating and pushing air into this scenario. Okay, so now we have water, shampoo, and air, oxygen, which is good for the skin. So this has to mix for probably, I usually let it go, maybe a minute, minute and a half, and then we're good to go. And what it's gonna produce is a foam. It's cool, it's really cool. So this is the applicator. Um, this is all we're really gonna need. You're gonna need your, obviously, your rinse station to rinse him after we've shampooed him, but there's no special plumbing required, which you saw when I've set it up. That's one of the nice versatile things about this, that even people who have a couple big dogs at home, it might be beneficial for them to think about getting this bathing yeah. system, you know? And, uh, but anyway, this particular nozzle will open up to shoot a heavier stream. So if we're getting into a thick coat, like right now it's all the way closed. Now if I open it up, you can see it really blasts in there. Oh. See that there's that, and now it's not as open. Gotcha. So you can you can open this up to get through a heavy, thick coated dog. It's yeah. all right, buddy. It's okay, guys. So, um, but that's that's the deal. No plumbing needed, but basic, and it, you can lock it into place. So when you have it on, you press the button, you push that forward, now it's locked into place. You, you don't have to press the trigger. <laughs> then you press down, pull that, and turn it off. So you can lock it in if you're doing a big big dog like Gus. Don't be silly. Yeah, like how he's coming up to oh, me. Oh, he is. Now he's your buddy. Hey, buddy. I so, love you. But the idea is to just, you want it it's clean from the skin out. So once you see it gets to the skin, you move on. See? I just usually do little circles. Huh. See, it's getting right into the skin and this isn't even opened up. So we're using this on the lowest setting. It's okay. And feel that, Anthony. Does that feel cool? What? It feels nice, doesn't it? Yeah. It's just like a silky foam. Holy crap. I know. It's nuts. So have fun. Oh, I gotta try this. Give me this. <laughs> yes, you've gotta let try get, it. Let me get in there. I can't wait to see All you right. try it. Do you think? <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> it's, it takes a second to get used to it. You'll get used it's just, to it. Yeah, it's coming out. It comes out hard. It does. You don't expect that. You know? You think, ah. I'm sorry, Gus. I'm learning. I've never used this thing before. I feel like a tattoo artist. I can't believe. I gotta be honest. I didn't. I didn't think this was gonna work. As good as you say it does. <laughs> I said I couldn't yeah. wait for you to try it. Good job, Gus. You're such a good boy. Yes. <laughs> Anthony, you're a pretty good bather. How, Am I? How stuck are you on working here in your dad's shop? <laughs> uh, I got I think I could I, use a guy like you. Frankly, I'm a little sick of my dad, so. <laughs> I'll tell you what, bathing, drying, and brushing, having somebody who can do that very well is worth everything. And yeah. pay them. If you're groomers and you have a bather like this that knows what they're doing and they bring you a dog when you're ready to trim it and it is pristine, that is valuable. Pay them people well so they don't leave you because they are an asset to your company. I don't. I know I don't look like I know what I'm doing right now, but I do. I do. You do. Do the other ear. Well, you've just never used this particular system before. It's a little awkward, I'm sure. It is very different, but man, let me tell you. Not having, see, because, show you guys something real quick. Usually, with this dog, you know, I am wetting them down. I'm 
guys. Wetting them down with this all first. And then once he's drenched, coming over here, grabbing soap, and starting from scratch everywhere all down the leg. God, buddy, I am gonna actually it's scrub a your legs a little bit. Yeah, and then doing all of this and then running out of soap, so then you come back and you do this and that. And this, sometimes I, you have I, to add more water, right. wet him down add again. Add more water, because I was telling Amy before, you are supposed to dilute, uh, dilute your shampoo, but we don't always do that, and we don't always have the time, um, and but we're lazy. Do. But you so, are diluting if you're adding more water onto the coat. Yeah, I, yes. yeah, I, I'll dilute like as I go, which yeah. isn't always the best thing to do because then you're not, you know, it's an extra step. But this really is because when I when I feel it, it feels it's, so good. It's, doesn't it's it? what I would have done with my hands otherwise is already accomplished. So this is pretty nuts because I'm like checking it. Yeah, and, and that's it all what feels I... lathered up. And that's what you do. You you do go back in there and say, "Let me feel it." Oh, I feel yeah. like I should hit this area again. So right. you can tell because you're you do this for a living. Right. You're like, I can tell this area needs a little more. I'm only doing this too because you wouldn't give me that foot. And now you're giving <laughs> me that foot. Yeah. Everything. It's like it takes me a long time to bathe the golden doodle usually. I'm a very thorough bather. Yes. I, I probably over over rinse. You should. That's good. That's good advice. Did everybody hear what he said? Over rinse. That is great advice. You don't want product left in the dog's coat. No, I'm always, always very afraid of leaving any soap on the dog because I don't want them to get irritated. Yeah. Once you irritate a dog, something else. Once you irritate a dog, it could lead to other things, and then, and, and you know, I don't know. So. Absolutely. You're such a good dog. You know that, Gus. That's why I want to hire you. You want to hire me? Home with me. There's room in the van. <laughs> all right. <laughs> no, all right. So this is my last video ever in grooming by Rudy. I am now a go groomer. <laughs> now I haven't groomed with Rudy yet. That's next video. Oh, so yeah. I might end up wanting to bring him back that's, in the van too. <laughs> that's gonna be interesting. Yeah. I'm excited. You are such a good boy. I love you, big Gus. I Aww. love you, buddy. He I acts like such a sis animal. in the tub, though. He really he yeah, does that for me, too. Shaking. It's not oh. you. Don't think it's you. So, <laughs> is this dog done that quickly? Well, let me just show you. We used, we, and you've never used it. We only, we only used two gallons of uh, water. Should I go at him some more? I can't believe how much soap comes out of this. Just keep playing with it. It's fun. Do what you want to do. <laughs> I know. I love it too. And after, at the end of the day, after doing, after doing five or six jobs, and you use the system, you're not going to feel as fatigued as you do yeah. at the end of the day when you hand wash your six jobs. Yeah. This is, this is a whole nother ball game. Yeah. I mean, you can bang out a small dog in this tub. And they love it, by the way. I think it feels good. It's so silky feeling. Yeah. But you can bang out a small dog soup to nuts in the tub with the bath the shampooing part, yeah. probably about one minute flat. Right. You're done. Now you rinse them and out they go. I'm um, really one minute. I could really see how quick, uh, how quick you can get a dog this size done yeah. with this thing. I can see. I can see why Amy talks about it all the time. I do. And because it it's awesome. It really is. Now, a picture you're doing a. Um, you're clean. Let's picture we're doing a new fun one. Ooh. You should see what it does on that coat. It's amazing and effortless. That's the thing that always makes me like, oh, I'm so glad I have this system. Right, yeah. <laughs> oh, we don't even do newfies anymore. I don't either I anymore, but I've done my share, trust uh, me. And, yeah. I, and I bought a premium bathing system. Back when I was my second year of grooming, I saved up. I was like, that's the first big piece of equipment I want. Yeah. Because I knew the value. I'd say you're clean. Are you clean? I think you're clean. Who says no? <laughs> now so am I. Now you just rinse like you normally Now do. I'd be rinsing with our Yeah, just rinse in the water. We're going to rinse I have out. a hook on my wall where I just hook this. That's how I have oh, the line. Oh, fancy. Yeah, so when you get yours, you'll just put a hook there. <laughs> we don't have a hook. You'll get one. We don't have a hook. Can't do it. Your dad's pretty handy. Can't do it. You, my dad is handy, but you guys should have seen putting this in the wall that Gus is tethered to. Yeah. How afraid we were <laughs> of messing that up. It's not going to be centered. It's going to split the wall. Oh, my word. 
overthinker. We're the nervous type. I noticed your sprayer has different settings. That's very, yes, that's very does. convenient. Yeah, I usually keep the sprayer on this just because it, it covers Which a lot. Which setting is orange? This is, this is shower. Oh, okay, yeah. So there nice are and gentle. some, like this one, it's a little more, like it cuts through better. If you had a heavy double-coated dog, right. that might be the same. Yeah, exactly. That's Usually, nice that you have these options. Yes. There's a few, you know, you know not cone. Like this one it, yeah. it is also, sometimes I'll put it on this one. It directs it, it more. Yes, exactly. Um, I have one, I have one option on my spray, this one. So yeah. I think that's, that's very convenient that you have that. You can tell a lot about a groomer about how many options they got on their sprayer. That's right. Amy What's on your one. nozzle? <laughs> I only have one on my sprayer. <laughs> All right, you want me to put it back on shower? Oh, and then yeah, we have this yeah. pointless one called Soaker. <laughs> this is good. This one's good for if you don't want anything to get done. You know what I mean? We like, I like, I like Soaker. Here, let me rinse you with this. <laughs> That's good there. That's good there. Yeah, oh my that, God. One's, that one's good too. We use that one all the time when we're lazy. You know, really, really gets down to the skin, cleans the dog with soaker. I'm still trying to think of a reason why you might want to use that. I don't know. What if you had a little dog that was afraid of the sound of the sprayer? Hey, there a you little go. dog, maybe you could say, "Oh, let's try this. See if, see if it calms your, calms you down a little bit." There you know. go. Hey, we have that, that Bichon, who uh, was it? A Bichon? Where? No, a Westie. We have a Westie video. Of the dog absolutely attacking the bath, the water. I think he was trying to get after the sprayer like it's a game. Yeah, so maybe we'll try soaker. Try soaker? Finally. Maybe the soaker was made for a Westie. Yeah. <laughs> I should be turning him. For but your back seat. For my back seat. Mm -hmm. But a lot of times I'll put the dog's comfort in front of mine, which isn't always... It's, you know, sometimes it's stupid because all I gotta do is turn you. But it's you not that uncomfortable to turn, make him turn around. Yes, it is. <laughs> I guess so. I just feel bad. He's nervous. Oh, or Gus. You're you nervous. Can. You're nervous. I know. I'm sorry. That's I over rinse. Fine. I do over rinse. My dad gets a little oh, annoyed at me, I'm sure. I love that. Because I'm always so afraid of leaving anything on the dog. That's because you obviously know the importance of what shampoo can do left back behind in the skin and coat, not just not just on your finished groom. Like, yeah. oh, it feels tacky, it doesn't feel great. It can start to irritate a day later. And right. When the dogs leave our shops, we don't see them for six or eight weeks, so we don't know that tomorrow that they were itchy. Yeah. Gus, man. Yeah, my glasses. <laughs> yeah, let's film the condition. Okay. Okay. There you go. I pre-mixed it for you, sir. Now this, <laughs> <laughs> this I'm just applying. It's just yeah. It's, with my hands. Yeah. I just. Yeah. I like. Oh, oh it's a, that's the uh, Hydra mixing bottles. Well, actually, you squeeze it, which is really convenient. This makes it Dang, your Amy, life. Amy just gets stuff done. This makes your life easy. And then start Ooh. working it through. And I like the Hydra bottles because they have this teeny weeny little. I just, I'm, not, I'm, I'm gonna just absorb it every time. They have this kind teeny of guy, yeah. little nozzle that doesn't over. So when you do squeeze it on your dog like that, yeah, it's not like wasting a ton at once. It's right. just the right amount. Now and I then have, you can, yeah, go ahead and put that on. Well, I have to look like a jerk now because you just showed me that, <laughs> and I'm still gonna do it with my hand. I'm gonna do it this way. <laughs> oh, there it is. That that conditioner is my new favorite. You know how I always talk about products, guys. You know how I am. Now I get to share that with Anthony it and Rudy. It smells good. It's the squalling. Here, I have um, I have extra mixed in this too because the bottle was down to like there. So this is all that was left in this bottle was mm -hmm. this much. I I pre mixed some of it in the hydro bottle and I mixed the rest in here because I only brought one mixing bottle. Right. So use it all on him. I like him over conditioned. Over conditioned. <laughs> I over rinse, she over conditioned. I, yeah, I over conditioned. Oh, there you go. <laughs> but that is the eye groom squalane conditioner, which is kind of ideally made for a drop coat, which he's not a drop coat. But 
but I love this conditioner on him. I actually have been using, I've been playing around with it for a couple weeks. How long do you Just let a couple these? minutes. So by the time you get around, when you apply the conditioner, especially to a big dog, by the time you get around, okay, this side, then I'd start spinning around, start rinsing the other gotcha. side while it's sitting on the other side. Right. So that's how I, I usually just is to keep you moving. Yeah. You know, you so like, okay, I apply it to the face first and the ears and yeah. down the neck and this so that after you go on down the body and apply it to the legs and everything, when you start rinsing you can start at the the face and the head and continue to rinse. So it's just a, a smart bathing process. Yeah. But it really makes a big difference. I was telling Anthony the reasons to condition, um, you know, for years. And Rudy, you were probably told the same thing. Just, you don't do decondition, just shampoo. It's a, it's a, it's extra product you got to buy. It's extra product you got to apply, and it'll slow down your drying process. But that's not true, especially with the conditioners on today's markets. They, they are so well balanced and rebalancing out the skin and coat instead of just being globby and cakey that they actually balance the skin and coat so well that it dries faster than than you would think it would. Mm -hmm. So it does not slow down your dry your your force drying or blow drying process at all. You know what I noticed too this you know because you have this system you're cutting out you're, you're not you're not spending any extra time on baths because all the time you're spending that you, yeah, you would have been spending, you know, hand wash. Yeah, the system itself is cutting out all that time. It's true. Allowing, giving you more time to condition. Yeah, it's true. But you know, shampoos contain surfactants, and the surfactants is what collects the dirt and grime out of the skin and coat and the dead dander. And that's we want that. We want to cleanse the skin, but in doing so, it's taking out. Um, a lot of the sebum that is there, and sometimes it'll take your shampooing process takes away most all of the sebum, which is the dog's natural oils. So if we take all that out in the shampooing process and we don't put it back in through rehydrating and conditioning, we're setting the dog up to become itchy right away when they leave our shop. And like Anthony and I were just talking, that we don't see the dogs today, tomorrow, the next day, so we don't know. Are they itchy? We know they look great when they left. Mm -hmm. But did they start itching because their skin was dry and it wasn't rebalanced because we didn't put that conditioner back in? So that's why I always tell everybody to oh, I condition every dog, no matter what the breed. And yeah, like you said, if you have a prima bathing system, yeah. it's not very burden burdensome no. to do that. No. And um, if you guys ever want to feel like you know nothing about grooming, just hang out with Amy for a couple oh, hours like we have. <laughs> so that about does it guys here you can see gus after he was fully dried and groomed he is such a sweet dog and he did so good for this entire process after using this system for the first time myself i can see why amy recommends it it's easy to use, it's fun to use, and it really does do a phenomenal job. Again, we'd like to give a very special thanks to Amy from Go Groomer, Alex, Big Gus, and Little Gus for making this video possible. Don't forget to like if you enjoyed this video, subscribe if you're new, and thank you so much for watching.